two, one. Booster ignition and the final liftoff of Discovery. A tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. It is the end of an era of Space Shuttle Discovery headed for retirement after this mission. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jay Kashmir. And I'm Shannon Cake. Shuttle Discovery is on its 39th and final trip to space as we speak. Discovery launched just moments ago on an 11-day mission to carry supplies and spare parts to the International Space Station. News Channel 5's John Shaman is live at the Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. He's been watching all of the events for the last couple of minutes. He's joining us with more. John? Well, good afternoon, Shannon and Jay. Very exciting here at the Kennedy Space Center. As you mentioned, the shuttle Discovery, its 39th and final shuttle mission here. The shuttle has been in orbit for nearly a year and has logged 143 million miles. Now, just a few moments ago, there were a couple of tense moments. There was talk that some computer displays in the eastern range weren't properly monitoring the shuttle. But just a few moments ago, we saw a picture. Perfect. Liftoff. At T minus 12 hours, the crowds already began filling into Jetty Park in Cape Canaveral. Straight higher, we see over the campers. The early bird in this case getting the best view. We live in Orlando. We've seen it from there, but it's always way up high by then. The launch was delayed back in November after cracks were found in the external fuel tank. And issue engineers say they solved with a new repair technique. Uh, we came up with another repair technique. This is called a radius block. And what it does is fit on top of the existing stringer uses some different rivets and it provides a great deal more rigidity to that area of the inner tank. Discovery has been NASA's workhorse. It's the shuttle that flew on two returns to flight missions after the loss of Challenger and Columbia. Astronaut Bobby Satcher says it's an amazing vehicle. When people first proposed it, they just you know, thought that it was something uh, that somebody just dreamed up but wouldn't, wouldn't ever be realized. When Discovery returns, it will begin the true end of the shuttle era. I'm sorry to see it end. I think it's a shame. I think it's a, been a great program for the United States of America. But Senator Bill Nelson, a former Discovery astronaut, is hopeful the space program won't disappear. If we can get the Congress to go along with the NASA bill that we passed, uh, and fund that bill as we have authorized the funding, then uh, we'll be able to have a very brilliant future for NASA. Well, Discovery is bringing more supplies to the International Space Station, including what's called Robonaut 2. That is the first human-like robonaut in robot, excuse me, in space. And its job is to see how robots will perform, perhaps maybe do some spacewalks in the future, and maybe, maybe, just maybe even some scientific experiments as well. We're live at the Kennedy Space Center. John Shaman, WPTV, News Channel 5. Well, John, we heard that certainly Bill Nelson was there in your story tonight in your reporting. Governor Scott also reported to be there, and Marco Rubio as well. I'd like to know maybe some parting thoughts from them, but also your experience firsthand standing there. This must have been a magnificent experience for you in your career. Well, it certainly was, Shannon. Uh, I was lucky enough to be here on the return to flight back in 2005, and that was also a very emotional experience after the loss of those astronauts on uh, Columbia. Here as well, a lot of people here. Uh, if we can get a shot just sort of around, you see there are hundreds and hundreds of people now, of course, that the uh, shuttle has taken off. Some are, some are heading back in, and we've got media from around the country and from around the world here. Uh, again, this is the end of an era. Three decades of the space shuttle program coming to an end. Two more flights after this and by the end of the summer uh, there will be no more space shuttles now you were talking about uh, governor scott as well as uh, senator nelson here uh, governor scott made some brief remarks saying he wanted to see a good launch but a lot of what was talked about wasn't what was in the air but was on the ground a lot of talk about the high speed rail situation and uh, senator nelson saying that the governor essentially saying no nope, doesn't look like high speed rail is going to come to florida at all but that perhaps a story for another part of the newscast today it's all about space shannon Time to politic on other issues there on the ground. Thank you very much, John Shaman. Enjoy your, uh, your uh, trip up there and your time covering that very important story for us tonight. Thank you. And right now on WPTV.com, and we have up to the second updates from NASA and the astronauts who are on board the Space Shuttle Discovery for this final mission. Their tweets, along with other behind-the-scenes pictures and video, are going on our website right now. You'll find our live blog right there on our homepage.